Hi everyone, welcome to the next video in this Lost Item series. We have our cute little um, piggy bank to do today. Now I really want to do him pink, I think he's just adorable. Um, I've got a few ideas, I'm just going to get stuck in. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to use my very lightest pink. This is called Light Rose. So I'm going to use this first and do a little layer all over Little Pig. And uh, now you'll notice I'm covering the spots. I'm going to cover all of him. This is because I've explained this quite a lot before that I find it easier to get a nice even um, shading if I'm not trying to colour around little details. So we're going to worry about the spots at the end. Well, we're not going to worry about them. They're not a worry. <laughs> we'll colour them in differently at the end and it'll work. I am confident. Now what I want to do with Pig is to do some shading to show the shadow underneath. So he's going to be darker down here at the bottom. Like this. And then lighter towards the centre. But also he's spherical-ish. I mean he's oval, he's not a sphere. I don't know the word. But hopefully you know what I mean. So if we make him darker on these edges. And then leave a lighter centre. That will also help to give the impression that, that he's a bit rounded. He, I don't know why I think he, could be a she. I always think they're he, all pigs are he's, you know, even the ones feeding baby. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what goes on in my head sometimes. And I really want to emphasise how dark it is down here. Now this is my lightest pink, but I'm quite impressed with how many layers I'm getting out of this and how dark it's going. Sometimes a pastel pink can be quite difficult. I'm just going to sharpen before I do those legs. Um, it can be quite difficult to uh, layer up pastel colours because they uh, sometimes if you layer them up they don't really change colour whereas you can see there's quite a difference in colour between that and that. Um, sometimes they just, just, I don't know, it just doesn't change. So, there we go, just neatening a bit. Now that nose, a little bit under here I'm thinking, and there. Now the ears, I'm thinking darker inside, but also darker at the bottom than the top. Okay, that doesn't look as neat as I'm hoping. Right, now I'm I'm on two minds as to whether to use the second pink to add more depth of colour or to just leave it with that one. I'm rather liking that tone. I'm thinking if I add something else, I'm risking it looking not so pretty, really. But I'm going to grab the Bordeaux, which is number 23, to do the spots. So our spots are going to be darker. If you want white spots, you can at this point use a, um, a white Posca um, to, to make them white. But I'm going to, um, as I say, use this Bordeaux. Now when you've shaded something like this, so this here is much lighter than this here, when you're doing the spots, you want to try and do that too. So keep this one a bit lighter, just takes a lighter touch, less layers on this one compared with this one which is in a darker area of our pig. I don't know how much it's going to show up but for me it can make a difference sometimes on some pictures. There we go. I'm going to do these little bits in this dark of two. There. I'm wondering about the insides of the ears. Yeah, let's do them a bit darker. Just so they look a little different. And then this slop, thinking it's going to be dark in there. I don't think this is dark enough. I shall um, get another darker colour. Uh, I think that's it for now. I may change my mind. Now I want quite a sort of um, purpley 
grey for the shadow inside the slot. So I've grabbed number eight, which I think is quite like a Payne's grey. It's just called grey. Sorry, I'll show you number eight. And I'm just going to go firstly just along the bottom. like that for shadow but we also want some shadow here under this um, label so I'm going to pop a little bit underneath and then here too like that down the sides there we go and then I'm thinking under here I don't want it too dark that bit's a bit dark I'm thinking here maybe? Yeah, I think I'm going to leave it there, I'll spoil it. We have these coins, and I had the choice, silver or gold. Um, we have done a bit of each on this page so far. Maybe we should do both. To do two silver, two gold, that would be more fun. And um, give you a choice really, oh that's the wrong pencil. Hold on, wrong brand. Right, number nine is our black. Okay, and uh, we're going to start with black on all of them, I think. So, a little bit on each end of each coin. I'm not going to put it on the top, because I think the top would be slightly lighter. So, we're going to leave that there. That's it. Now, our silver ones, we're going to now go to number... Um, I'm just checking. Yes, we're going to go to number eight. I'm just looking at my grey. I've got a little swatch chart here. I'm getting really professional. I've got a swatch now. <laughs> You'd be impressed. It's not really that amazing. There. It's a scribble bit of paper with the names on. So that's our one grey. The silver would do the, this one silver as well. So what you want to try to do is to fade that colour slightly as you come in towards the middle of the coin. And I'm going to put the tiniest bit on the top as well. Like that. And then I think I use 83. Now 83 is the dove grey. It's a, got a very slight blue hint to it, which I think will be work very well for our silver. For silvers you want cool bluey greys rather than warm brownie greys. And then then leave some white for shine. And a bit on the top. There we go. You could always colour your coins in a um um in, I'm just choosing my next cutoff. You could always cover them 76 Van Dyke Brown. You could always colour them with a, a metallic pen if you're happier with that. The only thing with the coin is because we've got this line here, if you're using a metallic pen, make sure you that black line shows shows if you can or draw it back in with a black pen after. Try not to colour over it or else it'll look a you won't quite necessarily be able to work out what it is. You notice with that one I haven't um, put any on the top yet. That's purposeful, we've got more colours coming. I'm going to use the 73 next, which is the Burnt Sienna. It's a little bit orangey, but I think it will work. Start to extend this and I'm going to use it up there just a tad. The reason I didn't use my second colour up there is because I've got more colours for this one. So I'm next going to go to 49, which is the fawn. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. It's a funny angle. Just a little bit of this. Okay, now we want 16, which is the golden ochre. Whoop. There you go. It's, it's very hard to read the white print on the pencil, isn't it? And this is our penultimate colour, so you need enough space for one more colour. And then we're going to go for a yellow. I think I'm going to go for, yeah, 
number 11, which is actually sand. Okay, and I'm going to make sure I colour over everything that I've already coloured on each coin, but leaving still a little white space for shine in the middle. That one I messed up and the white space has got covered over. Now if you do that you can use a white pen to rediscover it or you can just leave it. I'm actually just going to leave it because I don't think the white pen's going to look that good. Okay, so now we have this label. Now I thought I could just use this colour on it. We've got a yellow label here though and also I think it's not going to look very nice against there so I'm going to use a grey. Um, I'm going to use the lightest one, the 83. And that was the um, dove grey, just to remind you. And I'm going to use it quite lightly because I have coloured this grey shadow around here. So I want that to show up. So I'm just going to keep it quite light. I'm going to make that the same because I think the back of the paper would be the same colour. But I'm going to put a darker layer there for the shadow of that turned over a bit. And put a shadow in there. And we need a colour for that sticky tape. Mm, maybe I'll just use a 16. I know I said I wanted it to match, but sticky tape is normally grey. There. There. Oh, <laughs> She draws such cute little things, doesn't she? How adorable. Right, I hope we've done him justice because he is the cutest. Now, if you wanted to ground your item. Some people like to do a little bit of shadowing underneath or something. You would want to do a little bit of darker shadow under the pig there and uh, maybe just around the coins. But I haven't been doing that on any of them. I just leave them all floating around on the page. You know, why not? Oh. But uh, there he is. So um, yeah, I hope that was okay. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a fabulous day and happy colouring. <laughs>